Next, I want to reiterate what these functions are here. You've got grid, and this is choosing what sort of time denominations you want your grid to snap to, and the grid will be these white lines. If we're in grid mode, it will snap to those grids. Uh, we can make those grid slightly wider, those are seconds. Uh, because of my background in film and television, I work with frames a lot of the time. So frames and then nudge is how much you can nudge something. Now nudging is done by using the comma to go left one of the designated amount, full stop to go to the right, question mark or backslash will take you five and M will take you the other way, five. So that's the nudge functionality. If you change that amount in here, it will nudge to that amount. So that's seconds, five seconds, five seconds, five seconds. Move to the right, one second. So we'll set that back to, set the nudge back to frames, because I like everything in frames. We have our playback and record items that we've been through. We have a pre and post roll. So to activate these functions, you click on them, light them up. So say we want a pre-roll of two seconds. When I press play from this point, it will pre-roll two seconds before that, like that. You can drop in. If I click here, I'll get two seconds before that. And the modern successful leader is not just a post roll, it is the opposite of that. So we can two seconds out. When I press stop, the modern successful leader is not just a single personality type or leadership style. So as you can see, you make your selection and it pre-rolls out and you can see your pre and post roll with these little orange flags here. Uh, you can do a fade in as well, um, not really used anymore. You might have it so that the, um, you'd have a click track or something and you might fade in the track underneath or something like that. Not really used. Well, I don't have many use cases is probably the better way to put it. Uh, this is the duplicate of this. We can obviously get to this transport window by pressing Command and 1. And we've been through these transport functions here as well. Uh, and to reiterate, the mini mixer here are all controlled by right-clicking, choosing what um, meter type you want and choosing what it is going to monitor. So that's just a recap of the counters and the transport functionality.